us to the ninth episode in a series of 12 episodes that are focused on the August 2023 Mathematics Paper 2. So if you haven't seen the other episode, please go to our YouTube channel. you find all the 12 episodes that covers each of the 12 questions to the detail. It's important that you spend some quality time to understand the concept. Once you understand the concept, mathematics becomes easier. And also take note that we've also done paper one to the detail. Just go to our YouTube channel and you find the playlist that contains the detailed solution to all the 23 questions in from the August 2023 mathematics paper one. So we are going to look at question nine in this episode, which is from linear programming. So linear programming is one of the easiest questions that we ever encounter in an exam. The concept remains the same. It's a question that I would encourage you to answer in an exam with also trigonometry question and the question that comes with the uh, mentionation and the earth geometry. So those three questions are giveaway questions. You spend less time and you have more quality time to review your answers because they are not involving. So question nine leads answer the all of this question on a sheet of graph paper. A lady intends to bake two types of cakes, type A and type B, for sale. She intends to bake at least 30 cakes of type A and at least 20 cakes of type B. The number of cakes of type A must be equal to or more than the number of cakes of type B. The total number of cakes must not exceed 90. Question M. Taking X to represent the number of cakes of type M and Y to represent the number of cakes of type B, write four inequalities to represent the information above. Thus, four marks. Question B. Using a scale of two centimeters to represent ten cakes on each axis, draw X and Y axis for X is greater or equal to zero but less or equal to nineteen. Then and D. Zero is less or equal to Y but y is le less or equal to 90 respectively and shared the unwanted region on to indicate clearly the region where the solution of the inequalities lie. Question C, the profit on the sale of type A cake is 30 kwacha and the profit on type B cake is 50 kwacha. How many cakes of which type can be baked to make maximum profit? D, calculate the maximum profit. Okay. So let us start with question A. So question A is very important. When you get it, then everything becomes straightforward. If you mess up question A, then everything will be messed up. So question A, taking X to represent the number of type A cakes. So this is in. then Y to represent type B cakes. So just X is equal to type in B x then y is equal to type in a x like this so we know now what x is and we know what y is so now let us go to the information that we've been given so we are told that a lady intends to bake two types of cakes so there are only two types which is type a and d b she intends to bake at least 30 type a cake so at least means the minimum so you need to know the language at least at most means the maximum. So question A, we are answering here. So number one, we are saying at least 30 cakes of type A. A. So 30 is the minimum. So X must be greater or equal to 30. Then and at least 20 types of B. So 20 is the minimum, so 20 because it's a twist. So y should be greater or equal to 20. Then we have two inequalities there already out of four. Then we go to number three. So number three, the number of cakes of type A must be equal to or more than the number of cakes of type B. So A is x then this is b is y so what you are saying is y should be less or equal to x because we are saying type a must be equal to or more than 
So x should always be more than y. So take note of that. Then number four. The total number of cakes must not exceed 90. So when, when we add type A and type B, the total sum should not exceed, should not go beyond 90. So maximum it can be is 90. So this is x plus y should be less or equal to 90. So these are the four inequalities that you need to write. Once you do that, you have the four max. Then once we do that, we can move to B. Using a scale of 2 cm to represent 10 cakes on each axis, draw X and Y axis for this and that respectively and shade the unwanted region to indicate clearly the region where the solution of the inequalities lie. So, what is key is using the collecting interval, interval and the M. So the standard graph paper, the 2 cm equals to 1 square box. So 1 square box is 10 units, which is 10 cakes. So once you understand that, you go and make your graph. So we have the graph. So this is how you should label your graph properly. So here you also need to indicate this is the X axis. So you notice that all of them, they are going up to 90. So now we've done the inequalities. So the inequalities, let me just write them quickly. So we have 30 is less or equal to X. Then number 2, uh, 20 is less or equal to Y. Then number 3, we've just done this, is C. Y is less or equal to X. Then number 4 is C. We have x plus y is less or equal to 90. So it's now this one that we need to write. So the first one is x is greater or equal to 30. So we go at 30 and place the ruler. So once you put the ruler there, then you draw the line. So you draw this straight line. Make sure that your line is straight. So we want the values where x is greater than 30. So where we don't want is where x is less than 30. So we shed the unwanted region. So this is the unwanted region we are shedding. And this is x is greater or equal to 30. Then next we do the same for y. So again for y you need to draw a line. So we'll do a straight line, it should look like that. Once you do the straight line, then you shade the unwanted region. Remember, y is greater or equal to 20, so the unwanted region is the one which is below. Whatever is above is what we are looking for. And this is y is greater or equal to 20. So let me say 20 is less than y. So y is greater or equal to 20. So we have two. Then the next is y is less than x. So this is a line that we pass through. Let us say from this equation y is equal to x. So when y is equal to 1, 1, 1, like that. So it will pass on 1 to 1. So again, we need to get your ruler and place it correctly and then draw the line. So once you put your ruler, then you draw a line that passes through that point. So this line is the line we are looking for. So this is the line where y is equal to x. So this is a straight line y is equal to x. But what you are looking for is the region where these two is in such a way that y is less or equal to x. So now we want if I pick the value down here, let us say for example this is value at this point, you know that the value of y is 30, the value of x is 60. So 60 is greater than y, so that's a collective region. So now what we want is the region in the opposite direction. So if I pick the region here, y is 70, x is 50. So this is what we don't want. So I'll come and share this region like that. This is the unwanted region. Then we do the last one. 
So for this one, we use the extreme point. So from this equation, x plus y is equal to 90. So when x is equal to 0, y will be 90. Then when y is equal to 0, x will be 90. So we have two extreme points. So we are going to have 90, 0 and 0, 90. So what we do now is just to join these points, we draw a line. So we use our ruler and draw a straight line like that. So that's the line we are looking for. So what you notice is we are looking for the point in such a way that when you add the two units, they don't go beyond 90. So if I pick a point outside here, this point, so this point we have 50 and 60, 50 plus 60, you see 120. So 120 is above 90. So the region that we don't want is this region outside. So this is the region that we don't want. Remember this line is exactly x plus y is equal to 90. But we want this one. So ends we don't want what is above. We just want what is below. You notice that the region that remains clear in, be, in between is a region that you are looking for. So once you do this, you get the 5 marks and you can be smiling. So now we can look at question C. So let me just go to the other side so that I zoom in so that you're able to see. So for C, we are told that the profit on sale of type A cake is 30. So profit is equal to, so type A is X, so it will be 30 times X. Then profit for type B cake is 50. So it will be plus 50 y so because from y we are making a 50 question how many cakes of each type can be baked to make maximum profit so if you look at this one you notice that we are getting 50 quacha profit from y then we're only getting 30 quacha from x so it is more profitable to make more y and reduce on x so when you go on the graph we look for the point where we have the maximum value of y that maximum value will give us the highest profit so if i come here the value of y here is 20 okay at this point then here the value is about 30 is 30 if you do it correctly it will be 30 then here is about 40 this should be halfway which is should be 45 so the maximum value of y is at 45. So now I just need to test these two points that where the value of y are big. So I have the profit function. So let me just get space. So the profit function, we just done it, is 30x plus 50y. So if I go to the graph and check, this value is 45, 45. This is 45, 45. So the value of x and the value of y are all 45. So what I'll do is, so I can substitute there. I'll get 30 multiplied by 45, then plus 50 multiplied by 45. So 50 multiplied by 45 here. And this is 45. So if you use the calculator, you're going to end up with 3,000. 600 as a profit that's at the maximum so if you picked any other point you discover that the profit will be lower than this so if i pick this point where the value of y is in slightly big so this is 40 then the value of x is in 50 so i'll go so now i'll substitute here so this is just a test so the value of x is in 50 the value of y is in 40 so we are going to have um, value of x so it's 30 times 50 plus the value of y is 40 so we're going to have um, a 3500 quasha which is lower than 3600 then if you move down to try the third one so we pick this point which is 30 y then 60 x so we have 30 times 60 plus 
50 times 30. Oh, this is 60. Yes, so that's 60. So once you simplify this one, what you are going to get? 3,300 kwacha, which is well lower than here. So what should be produced? So if you look at C, so C, we should have x comma y must equal to 45, then 45. So this is what should be produced. So if you produce 45 type A cakes and 45 type B cake. What is the maximum profit, which is D now? So D is asking us in to find the maximum profit. So the maximum profit, we would have already calculated it. So the maximum profit is 3,600 kwacha. That's the maximum profit. Once you do this, you are good to go and you get the 12 max. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the next episode as I look at question E.